Understanding how nutrition affects breast cancer risk has been a challenge for decades. To address this question, IARC set up one of the first and largest epidemiological studies at the European level, the European Prospective Investigation into Cancer and Nutrition Study, EPI. More than half a million healthy men and women from 10 European countries were enrolled in EPIC in the early 90s. The invaluable contribution of these participants started with filling in some questionnaires about lifestyle and nutrition, and for some participants, giving blood samples. Thanks to regular updates on their health status for more than 25 years, we now know that among the 350,000 female participants, more than 15,000 have developed breast cancer. This allows us to investigate what part of their lifestyle or diet can be associated to the development of breast cancer. Research conducted within the EPIC study has contributed to the identification of several factors related to lifestyle and diet linked to breast cancer risk. Since these results have been confirmed by other large and similar studies around the world, they have been used as important support to current guidelines for breast cancer prevention. The most established risk factors related to nutrition are alcohol consumption, obesity, and physical inactivity. Indeed, thanks to results from EPIC and many other studies, alcohol consumption is known to increase the risk of breast cancer with an increase in risk of 5 to 10% per alcoholic drink per day and should therefore be avoided. In EPIC and in other studies, Obesity and weight gain in adulthood were associated with an increased breast cancer risk after menopause, a time when most breast cancers occur. IARC has estimated that about 10% of breast cancer cases diagnosed after menopause could be attributed to high body mass index, representing more than 100,000 cases per year worldwide. Unfortunately, given the current obesity epidemic in most countries, this number is constantly rising. On the contrary, being physically active can decrease your risk of breast cancer. We, researchers, are still making use of the information collected in the EPIC cohort to understand and identify how breast cancer can best be prevented. Other factors related to diet are being investigated, such as consumption of fat or other nutrients, as well as adherence to specific dietary patterns. Besides diet, EPIC has made and is still making a huge contribution to the identification of risk factors unrelated to diet, including, for instance, menopausal hormone therapy, breastfeeding, or other factors related to women's reproductive life. We are also using the several million blood samples collected from EPIC participants to better understand the biological mechanisms that underlie the links between diet, nutrition, and breast cancer.